Because I made the last pass was like, well, I really, I couldn't see what you were doing. Because they didn't get up. So, so this is not YouTube. This is real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's not YouTube around. yet. <laughs> not YouTube yet. Not until right. next week. Right. Um, so apprehension test anywhere in the body, what are we looking for? Apprehension. What does that mean? Withdrawal of the limb, maybe? Nervous, anxious. Maybe it's not even a cognitive process. Maybe their muscles are just firing and not allowing this to happen. So that's what we're looking for in the shoulder. That's what we're looking for. Same thing in the knee. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the kneecap and slowly push it medial and lateral. It doesn't matter which one you do first or, or, or second. And we need to make sure that we push it all the way till it stops, just about. And some people's knees are pretty, like Michelle's knee, kneecaps are pretty stable. Mine are too. So you have to put a little bit of force in there. A lot of people, you push a little bit and their kneecap slides left and right. And that doesn't, neither of those scenarios are better than the other. I've, I've had, you know, and massage therapists are very guilty for doing these kinds of things. And, and that is jumping to conclusions. So we learn a little bit of information in massage school. And then we, we take that information and run with it. So I, I've had massage therapists, because my kneecaps, they don't move very much at all. Unless you really push on them. And they're like, oh, we got to, you know, your knees are really tight. And then they don't do stuff to me. That doesn't mean anything. Whether they're loose or tight, what matters is function. And maybe if somebody has really kind of floppy kneecaps, it, it might predispose them to like patellar subluxations and stuff like that, but not necessarily. So don't make any conclusions based on that. So what we need to do is grab the, the patella. You have, you have a nice little patella. I have the biggest pat patelli in the world, I think. And I had a radiologist tell me that, actually in March, because I had a, a fractured tibial plateau. Um, she was having a hard time getting the right angle of the of the x-ray view. And she was like, has anybody told you you have like really big kneecaps? And I was like, I'm not sure you know, what to think of that. And she's like, I, neither am I. You just, you're like, your kneecaps are bigger than they should be. So maybe that's why I injure my knee all the time. If that's the case, if somebody has a really, you gotta, you gotta make sure you're straddling the, the whole kneecap. So medial and lateral sides. So if they have bigger kneecaps, you gotta make sure you're just on either side and not like on the top. If you're on the top, you'll just be moving skin. So I usually like to use both hands. It's not necessary all the time. And I'm gonna sit down so everybody can see this. What I'm gonna do is nice and slowly. And this is where uh, a lot of people do this, do this improperly. They do it way too quickly. And some people are like ticklish in the knees or like, like my kneecaps don't like to be moved very quickly. But if you just slow down, I have no problems at all. So you might get a false positive if you're doing this too quickly. Push the kneecap medially like that. Are you paying with that? It's just says my bad knee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not your bad knee. It's good knee. <laughs> you don't have a bad knee. Your knee is just fine. <laughs> this is my bad knee. That's what we tell patients. And then they go away thinking they have bad body parts. Uh, going medially, you did what? Apprehensive or pain or what? What's going on? Yeah, it's just tender. It's Which one on of those? The lateral aspect. Aspect. Tender on the upper hand. Ten so like, <laughs> it's tender here when I'm pushing this one? It's tender on the lateral aspect. Oh, when I'm pushing. So it's right when I'm pushing. Okay. So I really just want to want to uh, want to see what's going on there. We're not, I'm not having any apprehension, and in fact, now that I've done that a few times, you're okay with me doing this, right? Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of grinding in there, but I don't even know if that's if that's you know worth noting. So a little bit, but really where I was pushing on the lateral side, that could be a number of things. I really set, I really think that you have some sensitization here because there's no structure that should be that tender. Here. So you have probably this whole area has been sensitized to any kind of pressure. How does that happen? How did it happen? That you get some? Yeah. And then surgery. Yeah. Oh, okay. Surgery and those kinds of traumatic injuries to the knee with surgery afterwards can really set the knee up for being sensitized. Uh, so there's probably nothing going on with the lateral pole of your patella. It just hurts when you push it. It's also numb like, on the lateral side of the spine. Yeah, well that's, so that's, that's pretty common. I mean, the, the nerves around the uh, lateral side, the cutaneous nerves, go like this. They pretty much come, they branch off the lateral uh, femoral cutaneous uh, nerve and go like that around the side. So when they do lateral knee uh, uh, surgeries, they can often cut through those and you get that. That's pretty common. So 
the apprehension is more that you would feel that it wouldn't move, but not as much with the face. It's not it wouldn't move. It's that it wouldn't move. the muscle no no, it's not any of that. It's not. It's that, hold on. [laughs] It's that the muscles will stop it from moving. There's not that it, you have less movement on one side or the other. It's that there's an actual either the patient says, "Ooh, don't do that," or their muscles grab onto that knee cap and don't let it move. That's apprehension. It's not that this feels less mobile than that. We're not actually testing the mo- motion, we're testing what happens when we move it. And the body will have to respond one way or the other, whether it's a a a knee kind of muscle jerk or whether it's the patient going, "Oh, don't do that." Right? That kind of hurts. Ticklishness is kinda hard to tell. They might be apprehensive and really ticklish. Uh I think we had a a student that was kinda like that in the last like she didn't really like her knees being moved. It felt weird and she was really ticklish. So it's hard to tell what was what cuz she would jump off the table. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, she's got a really hot coworker. Yeah. She was [inaudible 0:23:01.61] when she tried to leave uh the room. Hmm. But it's not it's not aggravation. Oh no, it's just she doesn't like being in that position. Yeah. Mm. So, you don't really want people to try to mess with that. Yeah, it's not fun. No, not really, no. It's something to note. [noise] But it's not, it's not aggravating. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. Um She just kept putting her foot down the stairs. Yeah. So then this this is when it gets uh you have to do the F thirty five. Yeah. Which is when you have to decide do you stay in the room or you go out. Oh. Especially if she had already gone through the surgery and then you need to reconstruct it. Mm. Right? Because she can't be in there. She needs to be in the room. [laughs] Well yeah, because you can't be in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's only one bathroom in there. Yeah. So she has to go through the the bathroom, which is her problem. Oh yeah. [laughs] That's what Suzie did. She had to go through the bathroom. Mm. And she actually only got into one bathroom because she needed to use the washroom, yeah. Her own problem. Mhm. So, you know, you don't wanna make it like her. Well p twenty [laughs] [laughs] P twenty two. [laughs] [laughs] It's like [noise] Yeah. [laughs] Pull the wool over her eyes. [laughs] Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Or you know, that that could happen if she had gone through the bathroom. Yeah. But luckily she never went through the bathroom because she's not allowed to. Hmm. Ah. Yeah, yeah, that's [inaudible 0:24:22.57] Oh, but then the nurse uh uh she checked it, yeah. She checked the item. Which item? Uh, that was the big one. The big one. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. And then she came back out and she's like "It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it." [laughs] Yeah, I know. Mm. So she didn't go back in there. [laughs] I wonder why? [laughs] Yeah, oh yeah. That's all right. It is what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's just one of those things. But she didn't really go back in there. [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] Aw, shoot. You know, you could just leave her in there. Yeah, I think we should. [laughs] Uh, we have to take the sheet off. Yeah. [noise] Oh, yeah. [laughs] It's hard to like bring yourself to take on that. Yeah. I had to do that with Matt's wedding, though. Oh, I see. Yeah. He's like, "Looks too bad to be in there." [laughs] Oh, yeah. [laughs] [laughs] That's funny. Actually, since the wedding is in September, I think we should like have a wedding in September for him and I don't know what, because it'll be in September, but I think that would be too cold. Mhm. I know [noise] [laughs] Mm. [noise] Cuz we were talking about that. Like, wedding bells would be a good idea to have for like people to just come over and hang out and do stuff. Ah, I thought about that. [noise] But then it's like, it's kinda lonely too, because you're not like around other people. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's [inaudible 0:25:57.74] there's actually more people. Yeah, of course. It's actually It's just it's nice to have a dinner party of people. Yeah. I've never actually invited to a wedding where people have like a friend over or something. Like, invite friends over and they know other people from out of town and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's nice to have a dinner party of people. Yeah. I like that idea. I like having a friend over sometime. Yeah. Yeah, because I haven't seen him in years. [laughs] Yeah. What's he doing? Oh, yeah. That's right. Um yeah. Yeah. Turn this off. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna stay up late night with him, you can do that. Yeah? Yeah, if you wanna stay up late night with him, call him. Uh, we'll do that. Is that cool? Yeah, we'll do that. K. Who's that? Talking about the wedding cake and stuff. She'll be more than happy to talk to you about it and the wedding cake. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. She's down for that. Yeah, she is. Mm. Are you guys close? Nope. We're not close at all. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Jason just told me that you guys are getting married like, next week. Right here, right here. I really thought you were getting married today. Yeah, we are. Oh, really? Mhm. I thought you were getting married up in, like, Vegas. Nope, we're actually getting married in Hawaii. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're super close. Like, [inaudible 0:27:47.95] We're not close at all. Yeah. Oh. Cool. Apparently she's super nervous about you getting married. [laughs] [noise] Well, we're just super excited, that's why. Really? Mhm. My wedding day is Saturday. Should be a fun one. Oh. You don't know? Probably be a, a silly one. Actually, it'll probably be one of those things. Are you guys close? Nope. Hm. Um, Jason just told me that you guys are getting married on the thirtieth. Which is right now. It's gonna be cuz it starts in September, right? Oh. Yeah. So everything just has to get done really quickly. Right. It's tough. When you have a really, really prestigious wedding like this, it's like you don't wanna like make it seem like you're not prestigious. Mhm. [noise] Wow. Yeah, I think that's why they do that. It's true. Cuz when you get a wedding that pays, like, a lot of money, it's like you're in it for the money. Yeah. Mhm. [noise] And you're not trying to be like the next big thing. You know, you want to be the next Starbucks or something like that. [noise] [laughs] Yeah. Well, you work in like, you know tech support or whatever. Yeah. Not that you want to, like, be the next Apple or your business partner and that kind of thing, but you wanna be like Yeah. closer to that position. That's true. Yeah. [laughs] Yeah, and you have friends who aren't doing their thing and they're doing their thing, so you know, it doesn't really matter. [noise] Yeah. 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 Cool. [noise] Well, we're at twenty minutes. Yeah. Are we cool with that? So we'll just do this after, right? Okay. Yeah. [noise] Cool. Cool. We're good with that. [noise] [noise] Ooh, there's dessert! I'm pretty full. There's always room for ice cream. It just, no outside. Hmm? Just check it out. Check the site. Ah, there's a washroom? Yeah. [laughs] Is there a washroom? Oh. Oh. The washroom's not working. Very good. [noise] Then I will actually [noise] Is this the garbage? Mhm. It doesn't automatically open, you have to open it. I know it's, yes? What's up? [inaudible 0:28:18.89] Do I have to wash this in water? No, it's fine. What? Which cutting board do I use? That one? Okay. That one. [noise] C- is there any cutting board? [inaudible 0:28:27.83] I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, there's no cutting board? Okay. Yeah. Can you use that? Oh, I was just gonna ask if there was any sort of cutting board. [inaudible 0:28:27.03] A 